Hello, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Ultima Underworld. I'm your host, Missiles Against Bats. So last time, we were just about to go and face the wizard Tibble himself. And that's what we're going to do. Um, although first, I think I'd like to prepare myself a little bit. Can't exactly use spells right now, but there may be some items that I can use that I've got in my sack. Oh, Christ. That... Yes, if you also if you remember last time he was uh trying to attack me through that door. Let's see what do I have. A scroll of fireball. That might prove useful. What's this? That's my map, screw that. He was attacking me through the door, and it looks like he just unleashed a uh telekinesis. Freeze time, that's what I want. Yes, that will be useful. Scroll of freeze time. He was... it looked like he unleashed a, a sheet lightning spell on me just there, or at least attempted to, through the door. And there's not really anything else in here that's going to be useful. Okay. So, I'm going to just run on in and uh, attack him, and I guess hope for the best. Oh, wait, one more thing. Yes. Remember this orb rock that we picked up down on the lower level? That's very useful, um, and you'll see why in just a moment. Anyway, onward to fight Tibble. Where are you, bitch? There you are. Ah, it is Corvus. It is good to meet thee again. It is regrettable that our acquaintance must be such a short one. I demand that thou dost release Ariel. Oh, I'm afraid that is quite impossible. I need the body of an innocent one to act as a vessel, and I am afraid that thine will not do. Besides, after all the trouble I went to, it would be a pity to let her go now, dost thou not think? I think thou art a villain and not worthy to live. Ah, but regardless of my worthy worthiness, I am afraid that I will live, and that thou wilt not. Anyway, what we do now is cast Freeze Time, and beat the living hell out of him with our black sword. Damn it! Even when time is stopped, he's hard to hit. Christ! Maybe if I get around this side of him... Wow. Wow, I'm bad at this. Okay, there we go. Now we're g we've got something going. We are spilling blood, and that's a good thing. I can't believe I just said that. Anyway. Looks like he's almost dead now. Freeze Time is one of those powerful spells that really does not last very long. So you have to be quick about it. Anyway. That was easy. Now he's dead, and he just sort of hangs in midair because time is still frozen. So, let's dispel Freeze Time and see what happens. A cutscene happens. Thou hast just doomed this world, meddler. My ritual was designed to release the creature from its bonds, and then bind it into the body of yon young lady. Thanks to thee, however, only the first part was accomplished. It is mine own fault. With my brother gone, only I could save our world. Alas, I decided to do it in the manner which would benefit me most. Ironic, is it not? I stood ready to save Britannia, and thou did slay me to save but a girl. The creature, this slasher of veils, which I sought to bind, will soon escape. All Britannia shall suffer. No weapon, nor spell, nor strength of mortal frame can prevail against it. <sighs> and its ambitions are horrible indeed. Thou hast earned thy reward, fool. Thanks to thee, I shall not be here to see it. And he dies. Well, oh, shit, a whole bunch of stuff exploded out of him. A medallion, I don't need that. A key, I do need that. Some incense, another key. I'll need that as well. And something dropped down here. Oh, some strong thread. I don't need that. Anyway, now, this orb, this orb here, is what is draining all of the magic from everything on this level. And remember... 
how someone up in the prisons told us that... Or was it in the prisons? Somewhere, somebody somewhere on this level told us that what we needed to do was to find a bit of material from which this orb came and use that to destroy it. Well, that's what this is. So, if you're ready, one, two, three, boom. It explodes and our mana comes all rushing back to us. You see a princess chained to a brick wall. I'm not sure how I can tell she's a princess, just uh, by looking at her. I guess they sort of told us that, but whatever. Which key is it? This one? No. This one? Yes. At last thou hast come to rescue me, but now an even greater danger looms. Now that I am free, I can use this amulet of travel and go and warn my father. We must tell everyone to flee the island before this beast escapes and slays us all. Would that thou canst now save Britannia as thou hast saved me. Okay, now the princess is free. And she uses her amulet of travel or whatever and vanishes. So that's done. I still have my Ring of Leap on. Okay. Now let's just uh, take a look around here, I suppose. It's just a big oval room. There's nothing really uh, important here. Well, not anymore, anyway. A sturdy door. It just opens right up. A massive locked door. A sturdy door that also just opens. And now we're in a room. I believe this here is Tibble's workshop. Or whatever you might call it. Uh, scroll of fireball. A green potion. A green potion of greater heal. Man, I have so many potions. Red potion. A flame proof. I don't need that. I'm so laden with shit. Can I get rid of stuff? I don't need a wand of magic arrow. I'm gonna discard some of this stuff. Sheet lightning, that could be useful. Electrical bolt. One full charge. You know what? Ugh, I don't care about that. Fireball with seven charges, that's useful. I'll keep that. A whole bunch of healing and mana boost potions. Name enchantment, I don't care about that. I can cast that on my own. Daylight, I don't care about that. Telekinesis, that's useful. Cure poison, eh. I don't care about that even. Telekinesis, restore mana. Reveal, I don't care about that. Gate travel, fireball, and okay. So we're a little bit lighter now. Um, anything here that I care to get rid of? Not really. Oh yeah, I wanna switch this out. I should have done that before, but whatever. I don't need that, but I might as well keep it anyway. And then keys and runes, I need those. Let's continue taking a look here. You read the book, Mysteries of the Abyss. Remember to meet with Noek... Now a hook so in the phase room on the fifth cycle. Whatever that means. It's a shield. I can't pick it up because it's too heavy. It's not really important anyway. I don't think it has any particularly useful enchantments on it. Garamon, forgive me. I'll revive thee when it's through. Yes. Demonic summoning and control. Theory and practice. An undamaged book the, on the process of resurrection. Huh. Looks like he was dabbling in all sorts of dark arts now, doesn't it? Undamaged book. Dungeon Design and Construction by Dugali Sko. Alright. What's up here? In lore, betin zangt or jux in mani elem, zangt hur us por sin flas, tor mes. Huh. Looks like a list of all of the first circle spells, and then, uh, whatever the hell those are. I have no idea. I still don't. I've played this game through, like, a hundred thousand times. Not actually a hundred thousand times, but... Ooh, a magical red potion. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna take it with me. A bottle of ale? I don't care about that. A bottle of water? I'm gonna drink that. Another red potion. A red potion of poison. Let's not drink that. Indecipherable runes that hurt your head when you look at them for too long. Cool. Alright, that's about it. Here, another scroll. A magical scroll. I don't care. Might be another scroll of freeze time, actually, now that I think about it. There's a fountain. I thought that was a healing fountain, but I guess it's not. 
And a little oval room. Isn't there... Where am I? Ah, yes. I believe there is a secret door at the western end of this. There is indeed. And it leads back out into these caverns, as was evident from our map just a moment ago. But this is not the way I want to go. No, no indeed it is not. Oh, actually, there is something that I should do now. And it requires going back to the prisons. Now, what's the easiest way to get back to the prisons? Hmm. Hmm, indeed. There's not really any quick way to get back to the prisons from here. Well, let's see. Which way do I want to go? I think I want to go around this way, up around here. Yeah, I think I want to go that way. Okay. That way might be a little bit more complicated, actually. Oh, whatever. Screw it. I'll just pick one way and go it. Head to the south. Uh, damn it! Keep getting stuck on walls. <sighs> I'm probably going the wrong way already. No, I'm not. Very good. I'm going to have to be checking my map like every three seconds to make sure I'm not fucking up my navigating. Oh wait, can I go this way? Oh yes, I just go through the... Uh... No, I don't go through the fire room. I... Can I go through here? It's a massive locked door. Maybe one of Tibble's keys will open it up? No. Damn it. Well, I guess I can't go this way. Let's take another look. Um, Yeah, I'll go up that way. Head to the east. Go through this room, I suppose. Wait. Oh yeah, I guess it's a good idea I kept that map of mine. Yes. Okay. That'll do. I've got my Ring of Leap on, don't I? Should I take it off? I think I shall. Uh, no, I won't. I don't know if I can make this jump without my ring. Ah, uh, I overshot. Damn it! I always do that! Try again. Uh, I overshot again. No, I didn't. You really can go a lot farther with this Ring of Leap than you might think. Out of my way, bat! Okay. Now which way? To the east and north. Across that bridge. Ah! Alright. Through this area, which we have already been through. Ah, uh, yes, this way. And then I think what I want to do is go down here. And then back up this way. Yes, this is the way I want to go. Now we'll head back to the prisons just by heading towards the west. Uh, I can't go through that way, can I? Well, I suppose it matters not. Really, can I not get back to the prisons this way? I'm going to be so upset if I can't. The portcullis is locked. Again, maybe one of these keys will open it. Yes, okay. I can get into the prisons this way. You know what? Fuck you guys. This is what you get for imprisoning me. Bastards. These guys aren't any threat to us now, anyway. And he's gonna be attacking me, or at least trying to. Either that or he's gonna be dancing around like an idiot over there. He thinks he can damage me with a club. Alright. He dropped some stuff that I don't care about. I'll take this piece of bread. I don't know why. I'm just going to. 
And now we continue through here. Well, actually, I'll do that next time, since we're out of time at the moment. So, I will leave it here, and I will see you guys later.